gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions. And today, I'm going to go back and take another look at Lacey Evans with a four-star bronze character gameplay preview video here. And uh, we're going to see how she plays at, like, the 9K level, okay? Because a lot of you say, well, I'm never going to get her up to five stars, so why do you show me that? Let's see how she plays at four stars, so... I got you here, fam. That's what we're here to do today. We're going to check her out at Four Star Bronze and see what she could do out on the road against other opponents who don't have straps and medals either. So let's get into it. Here we go. All right, Lacey Evans, the woman's right. Let's take a look in here. We've already played with the character model, so we're not going to mess with that again. Take another quick look at the coach, dual gem damage trainer and uh, she's got a raw link on there now. I don't think she had that link when I did the preview originally, so that changed. But we're going to take a look at the moves. We're going to run the double blue and the yellow, and then we'll swap that out, and we'll try the other move set too, but um, we'll do two matches. So we got the finisher, woman's right, 10 charge yellow, deal 31k damage, choose eight heal gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Then we got the double blues, both seven charge, the handstand Bronco Buster deal 19,784 damage and make four random into yellow. And the running clothesline deal 22k damage and choose three columns to make into heal gems 9561. So for the entourage, I'm going to go with Lawler and Dolph Ziggler, the showboat there. And he's going to make more yellow gems. So we're going to make eight random yellow on the handstand Bronco Buster. Try and charge that finisher up. We got Rikishi on there for matching yellow gems, charges an extra move point, really trying to hit that finisher. And we got Beefcake on here to uh, reduce the opponent's sub turns. We got the beefer. We got the beefer. So we're out here on Hell Mode Royal Rumble Tour Book 2, the boss against Nia Jax. And uh, she has, actually has us on talent by nearly 800, so... We're going to get out here and check this out, though. It's match 11 out there. Nia's not known to be great, but everybody says Lacey's not great, so this should be a pretty even match right here, all right? She's got me on talent, but I think Lacey's got this one in the bag. Look, Nia's even got more health than Lacey's a showboat, so big disadvantage. All right, no blue. We really wanted to jump on blue early there, but it wasn't happening. But the good news is we got that yellow charged up right away. Double yellows to start. We'll be just fine. So we'll go straight into this. We're going to choose some columns here. Now, normally I'm choosing the columns with the most blue to recycle, but in this case, I'm going to recycle yellow or... Uh, yeah, yellow, because I already got this blue charged here. I want to get this finisher charged right back up again. And... Bah! Okay, so we get five yellow and three blue. And since we got Beefer on there, that's only a one-turn sub from Naya. Now, Beefer's a common sub, Coach. Everybody's probably got the Beefer by now. Unless you're brand new. If you're brand new, you probably don't got Beefcake. But we got the we got the return of keys this month, guys. So I'll be excited to see what we can get from there. Look, almost, almost missed the five break there. The keyboard warriors were ready. You all were ready to jump on me. I know. You were already firing that comment up right there. Look at that. Health still sitting on full. Still sitting on full. Now, it might take a minute to get through all this. It might take a minute. Hmm. Should I hit it? There's only... The hell? There's only six heal gems on the board, but... I guess it don't matter. I'm just gonna go ahead. And, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it because I ain't trying to wait around another three turns. There we go. We dropped some more blue in there. That'll be good. 
Because if I can get a blue match, I'm going to be chucking yellows out again anyways. All right, Nia's halfway gone. We're still full health. I mean, we're going to lose a little bit here, but still looking pretty good. There we go. There we got our yellow. There we go. Look at that. Just enough to hold it up. Just enough. Oh, we want these three blues over here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that, take the green one, that'll give me the blues. And all them yellows, and all them yellows. Bah! 33k, and uh, we're full health again. We're full health again. A little one turn sub action. No effect. All right, we're going to make eight randoms into yellow again. Should be looking pretty good here. Finisher charge. There's only four heal gems on the board. Oh, wait, that's enough to finish it, though. Yep. That's it. I think that's a, I think that's a flawless victory, y'all. I think that is a flawless victory for four-star bronze Lacey. So... Not bad. She didn't look great against other five-star opponents or whatever, but she looked pretty good against a four-star Naya there. All right, we do one more match. We'll put them other moves in and see how that works out. And I don't think I tried this other... Wait, what is happening here? Oh, jump me straight to the loop tab. Well, spoiler alert, 40 pull coming up. <laughs> All right, let's just do a full swap out. All right, so we're going to replace Lawler with Striker Bray. We are going to replace Ziggler with The Rock for more heal gems. It's not every day we bust this dude out as a trainer. And we'll leave the coaches just how they are. Because if I had Elias, I'd use him. But <clears throat> Okay, so we got the other yellow move. The Leg Sweep Slingshot Elbow Drop Combo. Eight charge. Deal 23k damage. And swap four by one random area into black gems. We got the two black moves. Lady Lace Up, 8 charge, deal 23k damage and swap a 1x3 area to yellow. And then the Shoulder Breaker, 3 charge black, deal 15,947 damage. And make 3 random gems into heal gems of strength, 12,682. But uh, now we're making 7 of them bad boys. So anytime we match or every third turn, we're just throwing heal gems out. And we're going to try to recycle yellow and black back and forth with these moves. Although, at this level, that 1x3 random into yellow is not going to be doing a whole lot. So, we're going to need a little bit of luck. 
All right, we're going to need a little bit of luck, and uh, I don't know. I don't have super high hopes for this at the four-star level. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. Let's just go ahead and get these heal gems out here right away. And we got a black match on the board right away, so that's good. That's how we want to start it out. Now we're loading heal gems up when we do that. All right, let's go one by three into yellow. I almost just took that yellow match and saved that for next turn. But there we go. I thought, what if it catches that yellow up there? And it did. So that's actually fantastic. All right, another 23K here, and we'll go four by one to black. That's going to let me load heal gems up again. Now, these heal gems are random, but if you keep putting them out like that a couple turns in a row, you're bound to start breaking them because they're going to just be all over the board. And with the other two moves being area moves, you can't use a trainer to modify that anyways. So this was the only way I seen that would really make sense for this. Unless you wanted to go gem damage somewhere. <clears throat> well. You can take red to block her charge. There we go. Now I gotta, gotta take this. So... We were pretty effective at healing before when we could choose heal gems to destroy. So let's see when she starts hitting moves how this affects this match now. Oh, great. She cascades the red in anyways. I should have just gave it to her before. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to need these heal gems to land right. Come on, hit that top corner again. Same spot. Ooh, that's all right. That's all right. That cascades into heal gems again. Beautiful. Healing for 25k there, not bad. Now remember, we still got Beefcake on here, so that's a one-turn sub. Not doing a ton of damage. Alright, here we go. Four by one to black. I know where I want it to go. Second row from top. Ah. That's alright. We still got a yellow cascade. Ooh, and we get to put heal gems down again. This is working a lot better than I thought it was going to work, although I know Naya is a painfully slow opponent, but I thought this would be a good matchup. There we go. Look at that. Still nearly full health. Looking really good. Looking really good. Now, I don't know what to do. We got them both charged up. What do we do? I said we do this one first. Because if it doesn't put her down, we get to put more heal gems out. We want to finish full health again. Yep, yeah, that's what we want. Load it up, hit this other one, get the finish. Lagging there, game's lagging. Come on, web portal, let's go. Oh, there we go. Now where can we get some heals? I think we're full. That's two flawless victories using all six moves. Like two completely different move sets. So Lacey at 9k, not bad. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some opponents that are going to rough her up a little bit. But get a strap on her, get some more damage going. I think that set could be pretty effective if you had better gem damage because... Those move damages aren't too bad. For a female at 9k talent, like 23,000 a move is pretty good damage output. Especially for a showboat. So, I don't know. You guys want me to keep making these 4 star videos when the, when the MLC start? Leave a comment down below and let me know. While you're down there, if you're new, click that subscribe button. Red button right underneath this video player. It says subscribe on it. 
you click it and while you're down there you drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me guys it takes like five seconds it's free to use so why wouldn't you do that for me and uh i'll catch you guys later so until next time peace